All right, y'all, we're back. Um, we have to lock out this distributor. If you don't, let me get this camera right. If you don't know what that means, um, we're gonna, so right now, a distributor has an advance in it. And as it spins with our, the higher the RPM, it, it uh, advances your timing and gives you more timing because you need more time in a higher RPM, um, which is not always the case, but most of the time it is. Now, to lock out, the reason we're locking out the timing, we do not want this distributor in RPM to adjust its own timing because we're going with the MSD um, Atomic is gonna be doing the ignition timing. It's gonna be figuring all that out by itself uh, electronically not mechanically. So we have to lock it out so the computer can do its thing without mechanically doing it. So most of y'all know you're gonna to have to pull this cap off. It's two Phillips head, they're little spring clips on the cap. Pull that off and as you can see, I've already got the button off of it. This is the rotor button, two screws. Um, it only goes on one way, I don't know if you can see um, right here has a square peg and a round peg and right here is a round peg and a square peg so don't worry about getting that mixed up because it can only go one way next you're gonna have these little springs which I've already taken them off they go right here what those springs do is control how fast that these counterweights move out. And you see when these counterweights move out, it's turning the whole system here. The shaft, which is on the pickup. So once you get those off, take those out, they will have a little bushing underneath them that keeps them up off of the, off, up off of the counterweights. Once you get those out, you're gonna take a 11 30 seconds wrench and there is a a little nut right here and what that nut has it's a bushing that lets you adjust how much you can mechanically um, advance your timing and let's see if I can get it out I'll explain it a little better I'll show you Almost there. Long way to Okay. Has a little washer over it. Let's see if I can get a pick to get it up out of there. There it is. Okay. So here is that bushing. There's that bushing. And when you get the distributor new, it does come with a pack of stuff. There is, let's see, one, two. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five different size bushings. What that does is, as this I don't know if this is a good angle or not. As that's spinning, you can see in here the size of the bushing allows how much advance you can bring in. We don't need that. We're not going to be using that, obviously. So now that this is done, we have to take this gear off with the drive this roll pin out, take this gear off. Once the gear is out, this shaft right here, the whole shaft, will let me lift this up and we're gonna rotate this 180 degrees and set it back down. I'll show you that in just a little bit. All right, we drove the roll pin out all the way to where now it's just in here. As you can see, that's the collar that slides over the oil pump. That is the what drives the oil pump right there. There are washers down here, make sure those don't come off. But now, as you can see, we're gonna lift that up and all that sprung apart. So, 
see if I can get a little bit better angle here. So this, you can see here, has got a big hole. That's where this stud right here, that's where that bushing was. So now we're gonna take that and you see it has a small hole here. Let me see, right there. And then a big one on the other side. Well, let me see if I can get that back on. All right. So we're gonna spin it till it gets the small hole, which is right there. And we're gonna set it back down And as you can see, well, hang on a second. A little clumsy here. It is now locked down in the position to where it cannot move. When it moves, the whole shaft moves. So now we're just gonna put the gear back on the bottom, drive the roll pin back on, put the gear back on the bottom, and we're just about done. All right, now that the gear is back on, we're going to take the washer and nut and put it back on the bushing pin is what they call it i don't know what you'd actually call it um, it can't come out but this is just a safety measure i guess they ask you to do so we'll put this back on It. Tighten it back up. now is locked out there's no reason to have the counterweights on it anymore because it doesn't do anything so now we're just going to put the cap back on and i've actually got to get a different cap But just for the simplicity of this, put the cap back on. Make sure it's good and tight. Don't over tighten it, just good and snug. Or that's the button, I'm sorry. Now take the cap, put the cap on. It'll only go on one way. Take the locking tabs. These extruders only have two, which make it super easy, especially when you're taking the cap off in the car. Well, there you go, locked out distributor. Now it just needs to be set off in the truck.